What's wrong, baby? Man, the gym full. I'm just trying to get a quick little workout in, you know, do some pull-ups, some dips. There's just a heck of people in there. I don't know what to do. You know what? I forgot. Let me, let me look in the trunk real quick. See? This, this right here, this is why it's so great. I forgot this was in the trunk. Do you guys know what this is? Do you guys know what this is? This is a portable gym. It's busy in there. I'm trying to get a workout in. It's busy right here. And also, did you know you can actually get a discount using my code, link in the description. But right now, let's, 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 let's take this out. Let's do a workout. Let's do a workout right now. The convenience of inconvenience has become convenient again. <laughs> sorry for the I feel sorry for the people that are inside sitting there waiting for a dip a pull-up anything this bad boy can do right here yeah yeah I'm the winner today what's good YouTube it's boy FBI's math back with another video today we at Cowboys feet in Plano this is a new gym this is my second third time second third time Based behind the camera, this is my second, third time. Second. My second time here. It's a pretty dope gym. Maybe if I work out here, they put me on the team. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? Nah, I'm just joking. For for everybody who's who's watching this video right now, I got a tip for you guys on some abs, and then we got an upper body workout, a little bit of explosive stuff, some chest, throw up some big weight, and uh, yeah, no go, team no go, baby. First thing to come out, knee sleeves, all black. It's like nah, I'm just joking. Oh. We got the Attack on Titan knee sleeves right here. Along with that, oh, look at that. Look at that, same fit with the knee sleeves. We got the Attack on Titan belt. This, these belts are actually one of my favorites. You know, you guys know if you've been on my channel for years and years, I was not a fan of wearing belts at all. Now, it's like I don't train without them. We have my supplements, Transparent Labs. We have the bulk. Majority of the time, I always take the bulk supplements because these are the ones filled with a lot of caffeine, everything you need, beta alanine. Mix that with the carbs. What's that? The carbs, AKA Mr. Pump You Up. You add carbs into your pre-workout, I guarantee you you'll see a big difference with how fast the pre-workout hits you and how well the carbs are used to pretty much pump those muscles up. Along with that, we have our intra, which I add along with the carbs. So I'll take two scoops of carbs, so it's 50 grams all together. Deodorant, ladies and gentlemen. Get your stanky ass out the gym if you ain't putting on deodorant. It is, it is it is not welcome to not be here without deodorant on, all right? Get you some deodorant. For my black folks, white folks really don't have to worry about this. Vaseline, some, um, some lotion. <laughs> I use the Cocoa Radiant, give you like a little glimmer, give you a little shimmer when you go in the gym. So let's go ahead and get this started. We are going to start this workout out with abs. And I'll tell you why in a minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there's one exercise, not one exercise, there's one body part that I do not like training. What that body part is, the abs. Years of, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Nothing. It wasn't on? It's on. Oh, you, what'd you do, what'd you do? Huh? You, you pointed it down. I pointed at your stomach. Oh, it looked like you was pointing straight down to the no, ground. I'm like it. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm getting used to babe being like on the, behind the camera. She holding it, her. Relax. No, I gotta keep it up because my arms get tired. Your arms get tired. Yeah. You know, my shoulders. I got yeah, weak shoulders. So Y'all hear everybody back there, right? Y'all hear. Anyways, one exercise, one, one ab. Fuck. Look. Now I gotta start over. Okay. One body part I really hate to train is abs. Over the years, you know, I used to be super dedicated to training abs, and that's when I had the best abs. But as time went on, you know, things went around. It's like you don't need to train abs. You know, your the compound movements and stuff. 
are, are enough to train your, to get your abs right and tight. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm kind of lazy in a way. So I'm like, well, I kind of took on this process of, of abs and was like, well, if I'm doing all this heavy weight and training here, I'm definitely training my abs and blah, blah, blah. And as time went on, what happened? Started losing definition. I don't, you know, my abs are, aren't as hard as they used to be. And even, you know, I mean, my, my diet sucks, right? It's not the greatest, but even still, especially with movement and how I move, not training abs has made things a bit harder. It's transfer of energy, the, the abs are your core. That, that means everything transfer through this area right here. So training them honestly, directly, weighted, not like a thousand crunches. No, you train them like you would train another muscle. You train, you know, eight sets of eight to 12, maybe some 12 to 10. I mean, maybe some 12 to 15, 15 to 20, whatever, depending on the situation. But when we're trying to have a strong core, build the muscle, we're gonna do those eight to 12 reps weighted. Will it be thicker? Yeah, I mean, your, your, your ab is a muscle. As it grows, your waist, everything becomes thicker. But it just depends on your diet to really thin it out, especially for me and my little muffin top rock tops, okay? <laughs> so I'm just saying. But something simple that I like to do is five sets, eight to 12 reps. We grab our 45. This is something I've been doing for years in football. And I felt like it was a simple staple in my ab training. Knees up. When I feel like my knees are up, I feel more of my upper, my mid to upper abs are being trained. When I go straight down, I honestly feel it more in the lower half of my abs, just because I don't, I honestly don't know the whole metrics of why, but this is a personal feeling for mine. three times a week, three um, ab exercises a week, and before I start my actual workout. All right, I wasn't gonna have this in the video, but as I'm passing it, I kinda wanna correct people with how to properly do this. So you kinda come in here, and they'll just And what they're doing is they're using their butt and the back of this pad to kinda get like a, like a boost, boom, All right? Honestly, for me, this is as much as I can do properly. So here, that's as high as I can bring. Two, three. Why? Because tight quads, you know, my arch and my lower back, there are things that are getting in the way of me properly doing this. You know, I, I can, if I straighten out my back right here, tighten the abs, I can get a little bit more out of it, right? But if you're like this, back arch, you're shortening that range of motion. So, pull that pelvis in, tuck it, and then go one, down, two, down, three, down. Don't just, <clears throat> and if, two, if uh, straight <laughs> legs, <laughs> if straight legs are hard, same thing, pull that pelvis in and bring the knees up. I actually prefer to do it that way with the weight. You'll feel a lot in your hips, but as time goes on and your hips strengthen, everything will start transferring to those lower abs. So that's a little quick tip. So we are over here at the bench press, well not the bench press, at a power rack. We're gonna do floor presses today. Why? Because we're trying to focus on building an explosive strength, power from the ground, from that 90 degree angle, which a lot of people struggle at. And on top of that, it's safe for the shoulders. So if you're having shoulder issues, nagging shoulder issues, majority of the time, it's, the problem is when you go, when you kind of force range of motion, and once again, don't force range of motion. If it hurts, 
don't go that far, you know? Just stay right above that and stay in your comfortable range of motion. But I see a lot of people just, they're so stuck on, oh, I gotta get that full range of motion, and then they're all like, fucking back here, and then you start, you start having these tears and stuff in your shoulder, these nagging injuries. So, to get rid of that, we're gonna go to the floor. You can use this for safety. You can use, you know, rather have, I'm gonna use this, but some people uh, would rather use this. Again, today is about power. I mean, uh, this first exercises are about power, our compound movement for chest and back, and then we move to our volume for muscle growth. Starting on the floor, this is kind of the setup. Just your regular bench setup. We're not right here. You don't want to be right here, right? You want to be, once again, bend that bar, elbows. Elbows should be pointed, boom, and boom. Elbows pointed out, twist the bar. Nice, easy, powerful, finish press. even on the bar right now the goal is five sets three reps each set rest time when you're doing strength training is when you're ready you know when it comes to this it's not volume training like that so I don't try to stay under a minute rest time but usually the rest time is between three to five minutes This was like when we first moved to LA and I was training at the Gold's Gym in Glendale. That's yeah. what it feels like. <laughs> yeah, that's what this gym feels like. But that gym is super packed. I mean, yeah, but like I'm just talking about like the equipment. Oh, okay. You know, like the equipment mainly. Gotcha. This is like Gold's Gym, Glendale. Yeah, feel good. I'm talking about the cam camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was the camera off? Yes, yeah, so. oh, I'm getting to get pumped though. <laughs> like I feel like with this, because you know, you know me, guys, I always, you know, mainly touch chest all the time so doing these is a different uh, a very different range of motion for me so I feel like my chest gets worked in a, in a totally different way and I get a way better pump honestly doing these than I do when I do full range of motion and so there's there might be something you know, don't sleep on the 90 degrees <laughs> that felt like my easiest set. The first two sets I didn't have my headphones on. I feel like I you got those up. up easier. And I'm just like, cause oh, you gotta be zoned out. Yeah, you gotta be zoned out. Cause that was, I was like, oh shit, this is about to be. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> All right, moving over. Now we got heavy sets. About eight reps again. Four sets each arm, rows. Rows is always gonna be a staple in building back in power, uh, grip strength. I always say, I don't have my straps on me right now, but I always say, if you got the straps and you can go heavier with the same weight, I mean, uh, with the same reps, do so. 
That's just, I can only do 120s because this damn gym only goes to 120s. Because <laughs> I'm just that big. But we're going to do the 120s, four sets of eight right here. Um, and once again, as I was saying with the straps, utilize the straps, man. Don't be like me. I just think, oh, you know, if my grip strength ain't, ain't tugging, I ain't jugging. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> you be making up shit. My grip strength, you know what I'm saying, ain't right, it ain't tight, you feel me? So uh, get past that mindset. Always go to heavier weight for the, you know, correctly with the, with the same rep scheme. Lick them lips, baby. See, you all hear that? She said, look at my lips, bro. You know who wouldn't tell me to lick my lips? Jeff. <laughs> Jeff will have me, Jeff had my ass all in this screen. Boogers, crusty lips, all type shit. <sighs> midline between strength training and volume so that's what makes the rows this some with a full range of motion good contraction helps with once again that volume and strength what you need I mean you need that row strength to pretty much negate the shoulder coming forward from all the benching because a lot of us bench more than we do any type of rows can you row as much as you bench hell no nah. I don't know nobody that can roll as much as they bench, but you still want to get as close as you can to your bench. Now we got landmine, shoulder press. We want to focus on six explosive reps. If you don't have a landmine, oh, you should focus on have a split stance right here and just turn. One, two, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do at least one fight in my life. Yeah.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video. Oh, wait, I got something else. Hold on, let's go.